Greetings. I'm looking at the Kentucky UCLA game further, you know, as to why I think that I, I think UCLA definitely get by this game and has a shot at the national championship. And I call it team chemistry. Um, the most amazing sort of part of UCLA, I think, is interesting between the relationship between Lonzo Ball and, and uh, Bryce Alford is the fact that Bryce Alford um, was the backup point guard his freshman year, and he was the point guard last year. So in essence, he was the man in terms of determining when shots would be taken, etc. And I, I was stunned to learn that um, UCLA actually did an Australian trip um, that was kind of a bonding experience for the team. And after that trip, is, it was sort of confirmed that the team now belonged to Lonzo Ball. And I, I just think it's amazing to hear in this day and age of big egos for people to uh, enter a team and suddenly become the team leader over even a senior. And then um, from there, take some time to watch the body language of the players. And what I thought was amazing is if you look at Lonzo Ball's stat line, because he's such a good player, if he wanted to put up 20-25 a night, he could easily do that. Uh, instead, he's chosen to roll into the number one assist guy um, in, in the NCAA this year. And um, it's amazing watching how the floor is set up such that when he's bringing the ball up or driving to the hole, even players that are bench players that may not have the green light all the time know that a pass might be coming to them if they're in a good position and they're open. Number one, they're going to get the ball. And number one, they can shoot. And um, I was really impressed to watch the body language of those players because um, when you're in there and you're playing and you're working hard or you're on the pine, Will you get playing time? And if you do get playing time, are you allowed to shoot? And um, I believe that this team chemistry and team structure I see coming from UCLA is very much like what I see coming from the Golden State Warriors. Steph Curry may be the star, but he recognizes, um, you know, what a good shot is in terms of an open person and how the ball is supposed to be distributed properly to get the W. So, this is not a slam on Kentucky because Kentucky is a good team. They have excellent, you know, individual players. And I believe part of the reason they'll push UCLA to the brink is that as they've matured, they know each other's games better and know how to, um, you know, leverage the gel of that game to get a better uh, team game done. Um, I just believe that, in this case, um, the way Lonzo Ball plays and the number of things that he does well allows him to facilitate his team better than how UCLA can, I'm sorry, Kentucky can facilitate their team in opposition to him. So what I think this results in then is a UCLA win by five. So therefore, it's not an easy victory, but um, the better facilitation that's that's possible because you have a better team structure and chemistry, I believe gives UCLA the edge. Um, yes, Kentucky could definitely win and, and, and has a decent chance to do so, especially because it's, it's basically a home game in terms of fan support, et cetera, et cetera. But, you know, I really believe that how that chemistry was put together and take some time to watch the players working together. And you'll notice that, um, these guys are really in it as a group to win and sort of the individual mandate is subordinated for the team's agenda. And when I watch Kentucky, I feel like it's somewhat the opposite. Um, you know, you have some great individual players. They're playing very well together in general, but you do get that young guy feeling of let me show out individually which when you're playing against a really good team can hurt you because all you need is two or three plays of not being on the same team. And now you have a couple of three, three pointers, um, you know, a couple of empty trips and it's, ten, it's a 10 point difference against a good team. 
So I expect a tight battle. It wouldn't be a shocker if Kentucky won, but I believe the reason UCLA won the first time is the reason they win again, which I believe is better team chem chemistry. And the biggest part of that is that the whole team knows that Ball has the green light and can st score 30 a night if he wanted to um, st stuff his statistics. But he recognizes that, you know, everybody getting touches, everybody getting points allows everybody to have full commitment and buy-in because they know they're going to get their individual chance to shine within the system uh, of the team. So um, best of luck to both squads. I do believe this is UCLA victory. Uh, I think the team chemistry established by UCLA early and maintained through the season sort of gets them over the hump in this game. Uh, best of luck to both.